production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. This is Tales of Heroes video replay review number 66 for March 2nd, 2008. Double Trouble. Tales of Heroes is brought to you by viewers like you. Thanks for your donations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome one, welcome all. Can you guess what map we are on today? I don't know. Let's find out. Double click back. Can you guess yet? How about now? It is Lorraine, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tales of Heroes number 66. I am your host, Bridger, a.k.a. Adam Ruzzo. And with me, as always, is my capable co-host, Rogers. Welcome again to the program, sir. Thank you, Bridger. It's a privilege to be here. I'm looking oh, forward privilege. to the two games that we are going to do uh, this evening because both of them are fairly short. I think both of them are around the 35-minute mark. So it should be uh, quite fun, and I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> Absolutely. This is going to be an interesting night. We got uh, This one show is going to be wound up being two games. So in this one, we are on Lorraine again, uh, as I mentioned before. Victory point one, two, and three straight down the middle. So there's a big fight over the middle of section of the map. You've got a very low fuel map here, Lorraine. Not a lot not a lot of fast teching uh, as a possibility on it. It's a 2v2, of course. You've got a decent amount of munitions, though, all over the map, plus tens abound. So let's see how it plays out. And just to mention uh, before we start, we have this one was submitted to Tales of Heroes by uh, Mardgun, a uh, longtime listener and viewer of the show. Uh, with him on his team is uh, E-Rock in a cube. And they're, they're going up against uh, Metal Gear, Wet Work, and Hala Hala. So we'll see how it plays out with the five-second mark. Unpausing in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. And we'll see how this game plays. We've got a British-American versus Double Wehrmacht on uh, on this particular matchup here. And, and we chose to do... I mean, this game actually does wind up, like Roger said, being about 35 minutes. But the last uh, 10 minutes or so... Are, uh, are not very entertaining. It's just sort of like, you know, well, you'll see. So we might even, uh, you know, stop the match early and just jump over to the other game and uh, we'll see how it goes. But definitely the beginning of this match and the middle are very, very entertaining. So we'll watch it and see what develops right now. We have, uh, let me see, one double engineer start for the American player. And we've got pioneers, pioneers, and pioneers. So it looks like a single pio start for one of the Germans and a double for the other. And we'll see where that goes. I'm deep, some uh, <clears throat> manpower floating here. Oh, he's going to go MG first. And then uh, I'm guessing we're going to get two bulks out from Metal Gear. That does sound like a uh, logical situation. So... Looks like the Americans are, or at least the, um, sorry, the the Allies are way farther ahead on capping right now. The, the mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks like they went to uh, to try and fast build their Wehrmacht or something, and and they just didn't get to capping very early. So the uh, the I think the British player is what's doing most of the capping. The first American cap is now happening up here in the north. So it's kind of interesting uh, how aggressive the British were. Because they just, you know, they get their first guy didn't have to build. Which is one of the advantages of the recon squad. Is they don't have to build. They can just go out there and start capping. Uh, the disadvantage, of course, is that if you want to move your truck to get that OP, your truck is going to be not producing units for you for a minute. So here we go. Okay, we've got engineers taking the, the, the building in the middle. Which, if you have played the rain before, you will note, will have windows on three of the sides. But... The fourth side does not have windows, so these guys can sit here and shoot at this stone wall, and for some reason, it'll slowly chew away at the units on the inside. Um, I think the American player, I'm not sure why he left them in there instead of retreating them. That was probably a very bad tactical move. And now he's putting uh, his rifleman in there. He may not actually know this about the map, because now there's he no probably, way for him to fire back. He probably just wants to keep that building out of the German hands because he knows if an MG gets in there, that's really going to slow them down in the middle. Uh, British player is probably going to go for some good resources, probably going to pop down the fuel in the south, and then further uh, increase the lockdown. It's interesting that the Germans didn't even fight for their munitions in the south uh, on their 
side of that like stone wall thing. Normally you always see the Axis or whoever's on that side grab that and try to hold on to it as best they can. Really aggressive play by the Brits here in the south. They just want to make sure that everything gets locked down nice and quick so the resources are just going to flow in for both both sides. <clears throat> yep. Well, now, unfortunately, uh, despite all of his effort, the Wehrmacht players have managed to capture the middle house. Now, it's not entirely super bad because you can somehow you, you can sometimes you know mess with the MG and get somebody over here to distract it while another squad grab jumps into this crater um, and uses it the same way the Germans did just then so now we have let's look at the big map here we've got um, the Germans taking the middle in the north and the allies situated fairly decently in the south so now we've got uh, probably a big fight over the middle which is usually how it turns out the north is now guarded by a machine gun not a bad uh, plan Wehrmacht always uh, pretty heavily dependent on the power of their machine gun to just insta-suppress anything that gets near it. Yeah, we got a KKC up now, so they're probably going to go for an infant very infantry-heavy strat. Good work with the MG covering the uh, that little southern approach so the Pios can cap. Uh, we're probably going to see an early field support truck up by the British player, and he's probably going to go for early little armor, or maybe even sappers to get some heavier emplacements up. It looks like they're going to project power from the south into the middle like most players do. Yeah, that's usually a good strategy. So hopefully, I think what we're probably going to see is um, a mortar coming up soon if the British player's smart. Because uh, that's going to be your best bet at clearing out that machine gun. But Definitely. a very good placement, very aggressive placement by the MG on the right-hand side here. Just suppressed two rifle squads, completely uh, killed at least one of those guys, I think, too. Full, full, forced full retreat. That's that's very good, very good and very aggressive machine gun placement by the Germans, and it's paying off pretty well so far, but uh, I wouldn't be so surprised. There's the mortar, actually. It's popped up already. Um, so we'll see if it's in range of that building. I assume you would build it in range of the building, but it looks like it's pretty far away. It might not make it. Hmm. It's dropping on the strap point, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Unless it was uh, one of the rifle grenades. Fire, I'm not sure. Oh, God, these guys are getting completely destroyed by this machine gun. I think he was hoping for a lucky rifle nade to, sh to finish it off, but utilizing the uh, yeah, utilizing the the sniper rifle on the recon squad would have been good too. Look at this, we've got Vet One on our uh, support units, so the machine guns now have extra protection, uh, and the pioneers have their extra protection. And if he gets Vet Two, then uh, those pioneers would be pretty damn effective, especially since it looks like he's upgrading flamethrowers on them. Hmm. And we got some idle pios just sitting in the middle. I guess they're going to either build... No, they don't have enough for really mine spam. I get, they might be going for, yep, flamethrowers on one of them. They're going to they're gonna try to take out that mortar emplacement, which is a really good move. It's not it's not covered by anything. The British player is just hoping and thinking that they're not going to attack that position. But they're going to pay for it soon enough. And we'll have to see. Oh, I hear flamethrower. Oh, nice placement of those flamethrowers. Now, interestingly enough, look... They're in heavy cover and they're still getting suppressed. Or maybe they were suppressed and they crawled into heavy cover. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Whoa! We had... Oh, there's nothing left. A death critical from the flamethrower erupts and uh, just destroys the flamethrowers. Now, the, the the house didn't catch on fire, which is really lucky for the Germans because that allows him to keep suppressing and keep killing riflemen. He's probably going to lose that machine gun, but all of this delaying action on the right-hand side was probably worth it. They have destroyed a German target. Great work by the Axis player in oh, the south, I knocking it. out that mortar bunker. Yeah, he took it out. And it so, looks like he got uh, all, all three squads that. out, too. Yeah, and we have Blitz chosen by Hala. So we're probably going to see some sneaky storm action. Uh, like I said, that the British player got that early field support truck out, and it's on the fuel right now, so the Americans must be getting buco resources right now. And we have, holy crap, we have officer spam by the British player. We have three lieutenants. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Wow, okay, so officer stacking for the win, and oh, infantry I see two that are stacked with captain. officers. Where's the, other, really, where's the other lieutenant? Uh, let me see here. Or maybe did I? Yeah, I'm, I'm Three, okay. Two there lieutenants only, and a uh, captain. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see the third little star there. Okay. All right, so here comes another push by the British player. Now, the, the problem might be right now is the British and the American players are not very coordinated because the American mm -hmm. player just got finished with an attack on the center, and he's retreating. Meanwhile, the British player is just pushing forward, so maybe if they were closer to uh, working with each other a little bit better. Either that or it could be just the American player went in, didn't do so well, 
and now the British players are trying their hand, so like keeping a continued staggered attack to keep harassing the Axis players, which is a pretty decent strategy actually. You always keep the pressure on them, so. The lieutenants are a little bit could... too far forward though. He needs to keep those yeah. back. They do tend to just run up there by themselves That's though. That's true. The great infantry AI that we do have. <laughs> yeah. Grenadier squad's in trouble there though. Yeah, he's gotta retreat that. Oh no, Snipe he's gonna it. lose it. That would be a good sniper. Oh, but he got him anyway. No, didn't have to. Flamethrower's so. taking out engineers. No, those are sappers actually, near the field support truck. Oh wow, those yeah, sappers the inside field. the building there, flaming it. Oh, get in the building, that'd be beautiful. See, he's done a really good job with his flamer pilots, and he's retreating them on time too. He's just using them for harassment since flames do so much damage to the British. It's really paying off right now. It's really keeping the British off kilter. And instead of Ooh. being able to be on the offensive, they're having to go on the defensive. You were right about uh, extra resources. We got a pretty early uh, M8 on the field here, eight oh, minutes or so. Boy. So that's that's going to be their, their comeback card here if they can use it wisely. But the Stormtroopers picking up the Shrek that had dropped before. That could be good mm -hmm. night for the armored car. It'll probably do pretty okay here. He's gonna get out of there. Gotta love the 50 cal on the top. Usually does a decent amount of damage. Oh no, damaged engine. That might seal the deal right there. He's Ooh. trying to get some flamers in there to stop the... Uh... Oh no, oh no, it's out of control. It's spinning. Oh no, it did uh, a three-wheeled wheelie. I don't know, that was weird. Okay, um, so... Even though they got the M8, I think it allowed uh, them a little respite in the middle because there's no more machine gun there now. They have one on the left here, but the one in the building was taken out. Yeah. And another death critical for the, uh, that one time it was the American engineers, I think. Goodbye, vet jeep. It's a pity you didn't pull that back and hang on to it. This is just screaming for a bundle grenade right here. These, yeah, look these at allied this. riflemen really need oh, to no, there it away. Is. Whoa. Oh, that was just a regular oh, no, grenade. Yeah, grenade. that was a grenadier grenade. It still should have done really more damage lucky. than that. Yeah. Should have, but didn't. Um, well, talk about blobs. Got a Bofors up in the south along with the mortar emplacement. They're not going to make the same mistake again in terms of defending their base yeah. from uh, random harassment. So that's good by the British player. They've learned from their first few mistakes. Oh, no. Clumped Americans versus Flamers. That might not be good. Is that a bundle? No, it's a grenadier. regular. No, it's a grenadier grenade. Got a couple of them on the retreat there, but uh, probably not you the best idea to just have them all bundled like that. I mean, against especially against Pios, you just try and back away. Whoa, I put my mouse over that piano and it fell to pieces. I don't know a why. A lot of infantry support vet, which is interesting. You never see that. <clears throat> yeah, I think it was Pios. I tried to do it. Yeah, the first MG uh, vet bonus is really good. It makes them fire faster, reload faster, and I oh, forget right, what the yeah. last one is, but... The second one's just more health, if I'm if I'm right. They have destroyed I think they get the same armor bonus, don't they? As the uh, as the regular infantry, they get like like better armor against small arms. If I'm not mistaken, I thought that was what the original one was. I know they added some newer ones yeah. in uh, in the in the beta that was leading up to the release of OF and the most recent beta as well. Uh oh, this M8's in trouble too. He's got to get that out of there. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna get out of there. He's still got to retreat these, it, though. These grenadiers are too busy dancing from, you know, side to side of the street. They're too happy to see the M8 to actually try and kill it. <laughs> we get the shoot that's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rangers in the north. And they've got Thompson upgrades already. That's... That's going to be bad news for the Germans. I don't care if you got flamethrowers. They're going to chew those flamethrowers yeah, pieces. Nothing. nothing at all. Oh, the boffers is going to cut these storms to pieces. I don't know. Oh, they got revealed by the mines. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, at least that makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, the mine revealed them? Yeah, the mine revealed the stormtroopers. Are you... So they didn't you run over gonna it. what's going to happen with the second squad. Watch this. No, they... they didn't run over anything. You don't see any craters, see? I don't see any craters. So now this is a, right. this is a duplicate situation of barbed wire. If they get, yep, they get revealed again. See that? Well, I think that, that might have been the, uh, the Piat squad. No, there. They... Oh, but they hit the mine. No, uh, that the Piat squad was too far south to be actually revealed, and he was too close to the mine. It was definitely the mine revealing. That's stupid. I don't like that at all. Yes, it's George there. Yeah, this is George. Who's this? This is uh, the Killer mine that was middle. placed in the ground. We have some stormtroopers approaching. What? Oh my god. What are you talking about? No, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Here comes the artillery. 
Artillery One, in the middle. Oh boy. Two, three, four. Is that? Five, it might be infantry artillery. Six. Oh seven, boy. Thing down. They went flying out those windows. Just flatten that house. Oh, it was dual officer artillery. It was dual officer artillery. Is that what it was? There are two officers running down now. You see him. Both yeah. Of them have yeah, he's Royal Canadian. That's right. It might have been dual I, officer. I know they've got infantry company too, but I I, I don't think that, that was actually infantry could company. Have been. I'm not sure, because I know the infantry, uh, the officer artillery only drops three shells. Yeah, so. I, I didn't sound, infantry company usually looks bigger than that. Yeah, and it's five shells that drop on the 105 artillery. Yep, so. You're right, we should count the shells from yep. now. Awesome. It's like the best thing ever. You're like, welcome to Tales of Heroes. One, two, the math three <laughs> shells. Ah, ah, ah. You never see too. sappers laying mines. I'm really liking this right here. You seeing all these mines being laid in the south? Yeah, I saw that before. This M8. All these storms get revealed. Bundled nade first, probably. Oh, there you go. M8's running away from the storms and going after this machine gun. But look at this machine gun not taking any damage from it. It's like two feet away. Here comes the main Bundled gun. It only killed one guy. 50 munitions. Yeah, great. Well, they are double vet and they're in. Uh... Oh, geez. What did they just get hit with? A mortar? That was a mortar. Yep. That's long range. Holy crap. Okay. There they are. That's huge. Yeah, All I mean, sit in your armored car, car or, uh, sorry, M8 anyway, in, in or even a Puma in one place for a long period of time near a mortar and you're asking for trouble. Now we got a big... Oh, there's the mine that went off on the on the left-hand side there. I think that's the one of the ones you were talking about. Unless that was a mortar. No, that's like a mine. No, those... Two mines went off. I think one near the little on ramp, and then there's another in the south. He's really laying mines quite well in good positioning to definitely add to the buffer's effectiveness. It's really going to help him out when they try to attack, which they are amassing for an attack right now, it seems. Yeah, right now the Germans are ahead, but they've lost the center and the north, so they're losing VPs. But they're ahead 430 to 311 right now. All these Shreks, and they're really down on anti-infantry killing power, unfortunately. Yeah. A Sto would be good right now, probably. An ammo storage uh -huh. facility is being overrun. Screw this, we're running away. Up that hill. Now, they do have a Stug in the middle. Mm. Which is going to... Probably just be ignored entirely, because they do have the victory point. They don't really have to care at all. <laughs> well, that's true, but it's going to at least provide some support to these stormtroopers. Good and assault in the north. Combined arms up here. Oh yeah, there's only that's one ranger squad sure. defending. I mean, that's... I mean, sometimes it's a battle of manpower. You only, I mean, rangers are, are great, but they're, they're only 400 manpower, and he's going up against like, like 300, 2, 280, and then another 120 plus, and then throw in munitions and stuff in there. He's probably yeah, not going to be able to take these out all by himself. Here comes another... Oh, wait a minute, a heavy MG team. You must have a... WMC down there. I didn't even notice. WMC Bridger. Whatever. What did I just say? WMC. WSC. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what WMC stands for. Weapon Machine Center. Yeah, it builds dreadnoughts from Dawn of War. Wait a minute. <laughs> I am awakened. Oh, look at this grenadier grenade. Did worthless. That's the third one we've seen that killed basically nobody. Move bundle grenade. Oh, this is gonna be nice in the south and middle. Knocked out an officer and a few brought him down to very low health. Good, oh, good work it. with the MG using suppression. That's really nice. Yeah, one thing I saw. Oh, that and was... here come the flamers. Well coordinated there. Yeah. That was nice, nice, nice. I hope he doesn't chase him though. He did lay a mine. Very, very well done here. The British player really is uh, intending on holding the south for a very, very long time. They're gonna be able to retake the middle and the north here. They've already retaken the north. Why is Bundle throwing... grenade on a... Oh. No, that was a grenadier no, that was a grenade. Regular... Why would you throw a grenadier grenade okay. at, a, at, a, at an M8? Here's your tip of the day, kids. Grenadier grenades do are Ever. for killing uh, rabbits Small and squirrels. Animals. Don't ever try and use them against enemy. <laughs> They're worthless. Oh, here Get comes it. another one. Jesus, wait. It's actually wait. my doozy I have. Oh, that actually did. It landed perfect. You gotta land it perfect if it's gonna work. Now, what happened oh. to his storm squad? Pack did he lose it too much? Did he... Yeah, he retreated it. There it is. There we go. Level 1 M8 down. Ooh. Good, good work. Nice he lured it in. With yeah. yeah. All right, so we've actually got a um, a mine in the middle placed by the uh, axis too. Ooh. Yeah, I do see that. That's nice. 
Returning the favor, I suppose. Yeah, another one being laid. Oh no, yeah. but get out of there before the grenades set him off. And oh, too off. late! Just oh, something. boy. Now get the rest of those piles away from the mines, please. Uh, I think he's not paying attention. Oh, Holla Holla's over die. here with his guys. He's not paying attention That's in the middle. That's lucky. Wait, oh, I did get wait, him out of there. Nebelwerfer is up, actually. Level 2 support oh, oh. bed as well. That's going to really lay some hurt on the... Uh, yeah, because placement. Oh well, this isn't the beta, but in the uh, in the beta level two support that gives it extra cooldown reduction. Mm. Yeah. Now what I don't understand is why is he throwing these two grenadier squads and one Volk squad completely unreinforced into the north? That's not probably the greatest idea. He's is gonna that... reinforce to the bunker. Didn't want him to go defensive. Yes, they did. Ah, yeah. okay. Here's your answer. Oh no. There's some, uh... Trouble. Yeah, the Nibble's trying to run away from the rifleman here. What did he get suppressed from, though? They look like they were I don't know. Was it, a, was it a, uh, the mortar, maybe? Probably just retarded AI, just like, hey, we're gonna crawl around for a bit. Sometimes you gotta crawl, you know? Yeah, nice placement of the Pios, though. He put them right in cover. No kidding. Uh-oh. Well, this could be bad. Rifle grenade. Get sniped. And here comes the Nibble. Well, good placement. Uh -oh. It's gonna hit that right crossroads right there. Or they're massing. Oh no! It killed the lieutenant though. Oh jeez! The two they had the two lieutenants from the beginning of the game both got vet one eventually and both uh, yep. got crunched they in got the last vet one couple of minutes. Too. Yeah, both got crunched in the last couple of minutes. So now the Germans retaking the north yet again. A lot of back and forth in this game. Oh my goodness! Oh, double Shrek's dropped in the north. Oh no! He didn't. Not. That Stug has said goodnight time and time again and. Double Shrek's up on a rifle team. Oh, okay, that's just it. Adios. Oh, come we'll on. Have a 5 5%? Bug. Well, it's not as bad as it used to be. No, it isn't. It wasn't a 5% bug anyway. It was just destroyed engine oh, and yeah. damage. There we go. Out of control. That's cute. Take a shot before you die. Take a shot before you die. Disco mode. <laughs> Maybe not. Good push by the allies in the middle. It looks like... They're just spread out, which is really important, especially with the Nebel there. And it looks like they're going to just cap the VP and have a good time. I'd like to see a 25-pounder up, actually. That would probably be a really good idea. Well, they both have off-map artillery if they need it. Yeah, they don't really need it. But, well, actually, uh, the British doesn't have any more. He, he lost it because uh, he lost his M10. lieutenants. There's the Nebel firing again. Aha, uh -huh, but where is it this time? Middle. It's going to hit middle. Yeah, direct hit. Whoa! Huge hit. Ooh. That Neville is devastating. I don't think the British player has a casualty clearing center up either, which I've been hoping that he would do for a long time because no, his lieutenants yet. were low health, but I guess he doesn't feel like he wants one. These storms really haven't been able to help that much, have they? No, I guess what he could use is on some of them. He just needs one squad with MP44s is what he really needs. He doesn't have the infantry killer power. Before, you though. mentioned that before. I mean, he was rely. They were both. I don't know who, which one it was. One of them was rely. Ooh, nice. The more the mine went off against the rifles there. They've been relying on the uh, the pyos with the flamers, and I don't think they can rely on that anymore to do their infantry killing power. I mean, it's they've been doing okay, but now as you can see, we lost two of them before. This one probably is going to go down. Oh my God! I can't believe it's Forrest Gump. He's getting out of there. He's bodering. Bye. Well, he'll be fine. He's got to save Gary Sinise. Everyone knows that. I mean, that. he's not. He's Hans Gump. Forest, he really uh, needs that Nebel cooldown to stop happening and so he can fire on that. That's pretty brutal, that MG. Good placement of it, too. That captured MG by the Tommies. Just sitting in the back, and that pretty much shut down the Axis attack. No, that wasn't even that. a captured MG. That was the uh, as a heavy machine gun team from his WMC. I mean, W. Uh, negative. That's uh, an MG42 captured by Tommies if you oh, zoom is in. It? Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is. I didn't zoom in on it. It just. I forgot the text doesn't change when you capture an MG. I just looked yeah. in and it said heavy machine gun team instead of MG42 team. Yeah. Yeah, artillery. I think that's officer artillery dropping again. Yep, it is. You see the lieutenant in the back? Just chilling. Relaxing. He didn't kill the MG. Th oh, no, never mind. Oh, I think that might have been infantry too. Here. Yep. Yeah. That might have been. That might have been infantry and officer or something because that was a lot of shells. And that Ooh, last one sounded Grenadiers big. Grenadiers got obliterated in the north. A whole attack wave was turned back by more artillery. That must have been 105. Oh, that must have been the 105s that I heard. Yeah. Two Shreks dropped again. Three Shreks dropped again. I think that's three. No, that's just two. Holy crap. In the north? Yeah. You see in that in the crater next to the building where the triple vet MG is? 
There are two Shreks lying on the ground. The building went down. Well, that's been down for a while, actually. This Stug is woefully outgunned by a Firefly, a 57 mil, and... Yeah, the Axes are in big anti-tank woes right now. I don't care how many Shreks they have, that's going to be bad news. Yeah, they need that oh, pack to come on down. He's, meanwhile, he's moving the pack to try and counter the, the M10 in the north here. Up, oh, Stug bit the dust. I love how the, you know, it, oh, there it is. He's grabbing a shot Fire against the Firefly. Vickers is coming up, but it's, they're all gonna, oh, they're gonna eat it here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that was huge. That, that, it's because they were all clustered together, and that was really big right there. That was huge. Vickers not even finished. It's taking major damage. Nope, you know, the not. flamers he are going to own it. it. Oh, he deleted it. Yep, there it is. And these guys are suppressed, followed by going to get owned if they don't retreat. Good retreats, though, I must say, especially on his pios. He's really determined to keep those suckers alive. Munitions depot sitting in the back. Got 10 kills already. That's pretty damn good. This pack 38's trying to kill the M10, but... M10 is playing hide and seek. Yeah, hide behind the church there. Uh oh. Where's that oh, artillery coming in? I just heard it. I think one of the problems so far the Axis players have had is they haven't harassed the Brits in a long time. And so the Brits have just been able to sit in the back and, you know, have fun, eat cookies, drink tea, and basically give the Americans a hell of a lot of resources unchallenged. Yeah, much. not only that, now they can just build, you know, they've got their entire south solidified, so they can just build tanks for the rest of the game and help the Americans in the center or wherever. Big, big prediction by big the blob axis. here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's, that's 105 artillery. I would go so far as to say good game right there. The, oh! Uh, yeah. Oh my god! That was very, very good prediction by the allied player in terms of where to put the artillery. That landed right in the middle of three squads. Two men got out. That's it. That's that's impressive. A really big change of events right there. We have a tiger. Tiger one is up right now with no vet, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, it's going straight into the south. And there. It has a seventeen pounder there. Good placement of the seventeen pounder. I will say that much. This tiger is unsupported and in deep trouble. The Pios coming down to help are probably going to run over this mine and all get owned. Now he's running away from the 17-pounder, but it's just going to get hit in the ass a few times. This tiger is probably going to die and accomplish nothing. Ooh. There goes your comeback mechanic. Bye-bye. Yeah, just charging it in there without knowing what was there was uh, not a good idea, I don't think. He's got the flamers down there. Oops, pause it. And they're gonna get that mortar. There it goes. Got it. So I guess that that was decently useful, but the boffer. Nah, yeah, wow, they got out of there. I mean, that's just a sort of tribute to. Neville has 16 kills. <laughs> 16 kills. Wow, really? Look at that. The uh, that that's just a tribute to how useful the the support vet is for flame pyos. I mean, he they've been using those guys pretty pretty well this whole game. Probably one relying on them a little kills. too heavily, though. The, one of the Pios? Yeah, one of the Pios Holy has 14 crap. kills, one building kill, and the other one has 10, oh. I think. Yep, 10. That's your super vet Pio right there. Yeah, I mean, that's just... I mean, you never see a Pio last that long without that double vet. It's bye-bye time for the Sherman. Good artillery use, though. That's going to be... That's gonna oh, no, a lot. you didn't. Not really, actually. Never mind, they're moving. Main gun. The Sherman actually is going to make it out. Nope. Let's say you forgot about it. He's like, well, this is probably going to die, so forget it. Oh, but that, that perfect screening, that artillery, just screening so that Sherman can get out of there. Got it around the corner, and it's gone. This Neville has been used to such good effect. Just 20 kills wherever the now. infantry Holy are, crap. yep, 20 kills, and almost wiped out another squad. You see that low health rifle squad crawling yep. out of there? Barely made it. That DOT damage. This field support truck has been moving around more than a, a drunken Hollywood actor. Um, it's just moving all over the place. I'm I guess he's just trying to reinforce. The what, the fuel? Yeah. No, where is he in now? He's still in the fuel, right? He's, he's, he's just moving it up so his soldiers can reinforce closer to the front. That's really interesting. Oh, he's on the, he's on the munitions now. It used to be on the fuel, now he's on the munitions. Oh, he's got... Wait, wait. He's got oh, I'm looking at the HQ truck. That's where I'm looking at. Okay, that is now a priest I firing at near point-blank range on those pyos. You oh, see that? no. And goodbye, all squads. Adios. Come 
plow. Oh boy. And holla. <laughs> he says, God damn, look out. Five kills for the priest. Insta kills. Yeah, well, didn't be. Oh, that was only. Oh, wow. That wasn't very far at all. Look at that. <laughs> Mark. More uh, needle workers firing. Okay, Mark again. Yeah, Nebel just got a. I believe that, yeah, it's he killed the crew on the 57. All right, so now the North being captured by the Allies. I think we're going to we're gonna stop it here because for the next 10 minutes, it's all just Allied owning the rest of the map for the rest of the game. So uh, we're going to pop into the other to the other one in just a second here. But just to recap this game, I thought that was a pretty decent movement, but I think the major problem the Axis had, I think you mentioned it earlier, was they did not have any infantry killing power except for those Pyos, and I think they were relying a little too heavily on that. The Micro wasn't great for either side either. There was a number of times where they could have used like a, uh, a snipe shot, like you mentioned, from the, uh, the recon squads that they didn't use it in, at the right time. Oh, well, also, I mean, the biggest thing here, and the reason why the Axis lost the game, I'll go for that, just, I'll just say that straight up, is they did not harass the British player enough. Like, now they're moving storms right now. But they're going to get revealed by the mine and just completely messed up by the boffers. That's a really smart idea. Because, they're, see, they're revealed by the mine. Yeah, now look at that. they hit the mine, and the boffers just cuts them to pieces. And they're going to hit the they other mine. The other oh. Mine. Yeah. yeah, so mines reveal stormtroopers, gentlemen. If you think your enemy has gone blitz, put mines down at a crucial, ch ch crucial choke point. Not only mines, just, just, I mean, mines cost money. Put down uh, sandbags. <laughs> or wires. Or, or, or wire. <laughs> but yeah, they, they just didn't, they weren't able to put enough forces into the south to harass the British, and the British were able to just sit on their asses until they got enough CPs for priests, and uh, the Nebel is firing again. Oh man, that's going to be big. Even with the, that Nebel has been, I must say, oh. Nebel has been used very well, and for some reason he's using Blitzkrieg on it. Oh, the Tiger. He wants to try and get the Tiger on the field quick enough, but he's not going to be able to. They lost the North, so... There's an Ospin moving up, though. All right, so. we'll, we'll watch until the Tiger gets owned. Yeah, pretty much. But 30 kills on that Nable. Holy that, crap. That's that's a problem I see in a lot of team games, including in games I play, is the British player is, he just kind of hunkers down somewhere, you attack him early game, you get discouraged because you lose a few units, and then you're concentrating on defending the other two VPs or other two strong points, and the American player does all the fighting with the British coming to help, and then the British is able to... Uh, you know, he's able to tech and get all this artillery, and then they just push out, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because the Brits have been sitting unharassed pretty much most of the game, although the field support truck and the mortar in place were harassed and almost taken out, but it just wasn't enough in the end. Oh no, he was trying to flank the AT gun with this Ostwin. And he meets a Sherman. And a Sherman countered it. Hey, I didn't know you were back here. The Tiger to the north, that's interesting. He doesn't know which to go after. First he points at the AT, then he goes for the Sherman. Then he goes for the AT, now he's going for the Sherman. Oh go man, he's probably AT. gonna... The AT has more damage versus yeah. Tiger. Oh, definitely. There goes the Ostwin. He's finally rotating the AT. And it misses. How does that even happen? Oh no, the 30 kill Nebel crew is about to die. It might. No, oh, it might get a few more kills here, hopefully. It's firing again. Let's see if we can top. Nice. 30 kills. I don't know if we've ever seen one that... Anything that's had 30 kills before. We might one. have, but wow, look at this. Tiger's out. 32 kills for the Nebel. Come on, dot damage. Do your damage. Come on, more, more, more. He's sitting right there. He's in the dot. Just kill him. Oh, dot damage doesn't count towards kills. That sucks. It doesn't? No, it doesn't. Oh, wait, Aww. it does. Does it? Oh yeah, it's 33. Alright, so the last ditch effort for the Germans in the north did not pay off. So we're just gonna call this one here. Um, we've actually seen the end. It's it's not it's not pretty. So we'll uh, transition over to the other map and we'll see you guys there. It's going to be awesome. Alright, can you guess what map we're on here? We'll give you a full 360 and see if you can guess what map we are on by the time we get around again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McGeckin's War, right here on Tales of Heroes, episode 66, where there's a second 
map, second match. This one's going to be a little bit longer, and uh, hopefully it'll be just as entertaining, if not more so. We're at the five-second mark. Five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. All right, well, we're waiting for everybody to get warmed up. This is actually a clan match between TRS and KK. So TRS Dwarfy versus and, and TRS uh, Cinder Rules, Cinder Rules uh, versus KK... CC and KK Franks or Franz, Franz. Franz. Sorry, wow, I can't Franz. freaking read. Frank is it's Sinatra over here. Okay, <laughs> so no. McGacken's War. I, I kind of actually wish they'd do something with it because it's it it sort of always plays out the same because of the massive fuel on the left side. I'd kind of like to see those plus fives on the right change to plus tens, or maybe the strat points on the right change to I don't know to something else. Um, I don't know, but um, it just seems. Odd. You know, it's also a little bit unbalanced if you look at it. There's a um, there's a plus five outside the right hand side of each side's base, but the plus five on the allies connects directly to a plus five fuel. Meanwhile, the axis can be cut off strictly by strat points. Yeah. And that plus five, I think, is easily within range of uh, of the machine gun nest. So there's no way that should be there. It needs to be like out here, and it needs to be a strat point, or they need to change this to a plus five munitions point to make it uh, yeah. more balanced here. There are definitely a lot of map balance changes that have to happen, but seldom, we ever seldom see it addressed, so hopefully in the future. Alright, left hand nice. side we're having an engagement. Nope, nope, we're having the Germans run away into a building. Okay. We're probably reserving for MGs because we have MG spam coming up. Yeah, so it, it is PE and Ver versus American and British. Double Unfortunately, engineers are going straight for the right hand side. Totally double pioneers, back. you mean? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Wow, what did I even say? I don't double remember. engineers. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, that lieutenant's in trouble. Already down to less than half health because he ran by uh, that German squad. Mm. Or the PE squad, rather. Oh no. Wow, they sniped the machine gun there. One guy insta dead on the battlefield without even getting a shot off. Poor guy. I feel for him, you know, I really do. All right, so. 35 inches, though. So. It's did pretty cost even trade that. off. So we'll have to see. I wonder if they're going to turn that into like a forward HQ or something. That's actually not really a bad idea. A lot of people use it there. Oh, man. Nice nade dodge. Very good micro. The uh, British player watching the battle and just yeah, dodging right out of that flame nade. Oh, another snipe. It's going to hurt that Panzer Grenadier squad. That was funny. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, he went for the. Uh, oh, it is a plus ten just south of the base. He just popped his HQ right on the uh, plus ten. I guess he's going to yep. send a field support truck for the plus ten fuel. Now, interestingly That's enough, let's, choice, let's check out what these uh, Pios have oh, sandbagged laying. off the main entrances to uh, the graveyard, and they're now capping the victory point and uh, and the strat point there. It looks like actually they're going to sandbag off the, uh, or just going to cap the point there. Now this is interesting. They were halfway towards capping a VP. He might he oh, might have hit the wrong button with that squad. Yeah, it looks like he's going back to what he meant to, uh, to do that. Now the Americans and the British, I think, have had their plus ten on the left, the plus ten fuel for quite a while. That was a nice attack by the Germans trying to get in there to uh, to harass and destroy the mortar emplacement. You gotta harass like that. So I mean, they lost, but it was very important for them to at least know that where that is now. Yeah, it's a pity they couldn't stop the actual building because that's gonna negate that MG in the house completely. Yep, so and he's, he's moving have it. To relocate. Nice. Good, nice. smart move. Definitely. Uh oh. Did I just hear... Booby traps. Yep, middle BP. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Getting booby. Yep. And that's dot damage, too, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's yeah, killing it that squad. Wow, that guy got away with no health. I don't know why he retreated yeah, both squads. He could have just killed, moved uh, him out. The rifle squad right we are there. losing an ammo That was a big booby trap right there. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they're, they're, both squads are still alive, but just freaking barely. Killed at least six guys. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, it looked like... They didn't make it out, yeah. Yeah, I know, but look how much health the guy has. I mean, it's, how, how do you how do you escape like that? I don't know. Triage, please. It would be nice. All right, infantry section's coming up in the middle, trying to cut the uh, 
the munitions in half over here. And they're probably going to... Nope, very nice Ketten Micro. The, the, the German player and the British player on the left are both very, very conscious of what's going on. Their, their eyes are always in the battlefield. They're managing to keep that Micro very well. Um, a lot of times, I make this mistake a lot too, and I, I look away from the battle because I think I can look away right now just to go check this out. No. And they dodge the booby trap. Nicely done. Nice. However, it looks like that recon squad is not going to be able to hang out against the Panzer Grenadier squad. They were already weakened, and the Panzer Grenadier ran into cover, and just not going to be very good. Middle being captured by the Germans, the right was captured by the Germans. And uh, we do have the booby traps there. Unfortunately, it's not going to stop them from going around. You know, he just sends his mans around the other way, and the sandbags mm. can't stop it. Well, I, what I really like seeing from this British player is how he set up his HQ at that muni point. I really have to start doing that. That's a very smart move. And then he pops his field support truck closer to the front of that plus 10. I have to start doing that because that's a really good idea. That doesn't expose his retreating units if the enemy just keeps really being aggressive and pushing into your HQ. That's a good, good move. Really smart play. Now, this is interesting. Like we got an, you got an infantry half-track on the right-hand side trying to chew up those rifles. Unfortunately, they're dodging behind the hedge there. And the tank traps are working against him. <laughs> yeah, I guess they are. Well, that's certainly an interesting strategy. Just send your first two pioneers over the right and let them cap everything and block everything off and then just ignore it. Um, and bring over an infantry half-track when you need to kill some rifles. Lieutenant should have died. No, and he, he, he's definitely no, gone. Where? On the, the left-hand side. Plus I missed 15 it. just went up. Because he was really low health and he was sending him uh, probably to the plus 10 field trying to decap, but he really shouldn't have gambled with that lieutenant. That wasn't a good move. Oh, we got an OP coming up on the left-hand side, too. Rifle squad on the right having to retreat. Looks like uh, the infantry half-track survived, and the Germans are getting that extra plus 5 fuel and the extra pop cap and the extra manpower. And they're sending yeah, a machine really gun over that there that, to solidify it. I would really say that that OP on the left-hand side was built more of a delaying tactic than an actual resource oh, advantage. Oh, man. Even though it's going to go up right now, the perfect counter just came up. Yeah. I guess they noticed him building it or something to that effect. Probably. Oh, that's a uh, mortar half-track, though. It Dropping. is, but he's doing some great micro and continually moving his squad. Another observation wow. Yep, over on the right-hand side. They're looking for some big fuel push here. And I guess no they're going to need it because it looks like they keep being pushed back. They needed that machine gun in the house. Oh, he, wow, you don't need to retreat that. That's That was probably not a great retreat. He could have just pulled him back around the hedge and just run away. But now he's losing a lot of time having them go all the way back and around. Oh no, Stuart on the left. That's, yeah, that's going to upset everything. There's been really no tacking by e each side. I mean, the the okay, never mind. Sturm Armory is probably going to come up now. Yeah, but there's no further tacking by the PE player. Maybe he got the Shrek upgrade now or he's up getting he's getting it now. No, that's just another. Oh, it's a tank buster squad, so he does have the Shrek upgrade. That's he's definitely necessary. Wait, wait, what is that? Oh, he heard the booby trap this time. I think it was on the middle of VP. There it is. Yeah, those booby traps are definitely helping them delay the enemy off the point, and in some cases even making them retreat. Well done. Yeah, More but sandbags on the right. He probably doesn't have to retreat some of these times. I mean, I guess I guess he just doesn't want to take a chance, but it's probably hurting him in the long run to retreat like that. Yeah, see that OP kept him off the fuel for precious, like a precious extra minute or two, and that's really been helping him. And in the meantime, they've been getting that extra fuel as well, so. Uh oh. Shreks and PE squads join forces in the middle. Uncloak and attack. Very low health squad is just just gonna get chewed up. Look at that. Target seized. MG's gonna be stolen in the middle. Oh yeah, look at that. The Stuart come and took it out. Get those anti-tank and fight the Stuart. Get it. Ooh, he's boxing him in here. He's sending the anti-tank squad to the right and the storms on the left. That's nice, but it's going to get away. That's too bad. Captain Mike, eat it here. He's going to go down. 
Oh yeah, oh, captains, they're not even paying attention. That captain's gone. Oh, there he goes. Holding off the entire German force by himself. Heroically, he'll get a medal, but it didn't really King help. Country, oh damage. god, blobbing! Talk about, holy, look at this, fire everywhere. This Dot is... Damage. Wow. And here comes another fire. Firebomb, Molotov cocktail, whatever. Infantry half track though. That's uh, it's, it's pretty heavily it's damaged, health, but though. it's probably gonna do a lot of damage. Look at that. Yeah, every time it does a nice burst, it it nearly kills or or does kill a rifleman. Hopefully, it can get out. Oh no, there, but it's but... not gonna get away from the steward. No way, it gets away from the steward. Really careless. No, he's charging it. Not... Oh, he's gonna turn to no. What? He's gonna turn to repair it. That was a good move. The Stuart might go down. Probably not. Oh, it, never mind. I'm completely retarded. Oh yeah, they had a they had a squad sneaking up behind it. But we do have the armored command truck on the field now, and building a Cromwell. Bad news right there. Yeah, so kind of surprising. We just have a Wehrmacht quarters and a uh, Krieg, com, uh, comp group Krieg, comp group company. 104 fuel. Why don't they build tier 4? Do it. Do it. Build tier 4. Come on. Jeez. They have so many OPs and just random things like the 2 plus 5s on the right, the muni point on the left. They're in good terms in, in, in terms yeah, of resources. Life. They're pretty good. Especially, it's, it's almost like they have a British player on their side because they're gaining so many OPs. They're actually matching the British right now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, we got plus 42 fuel income on the German side, what do you got on the Allied side? Uh, I'm not watching. I thought you were watching the British player. Oh, no, I'm watching. Oh, I am watching the British player. I'm plus 42. What are you? Nice. Uh, plus 26. So plus 26. not quite. Yeah. No. Plus 50 munitions, though, so that's good. Blob versus blob in the center. Unfortunately, one blob is completely anti infantry and the other one is completely anti tank. So. Another infantry uh, half track. Oh, he's going for the mortar half track. I think he's going to go for a sticky. He's going for a sticky. It it Got it. Um, be ready and we have gliders up. Oh, immobilized and damaged engine. Ouch. How I'm just going to run up there and kill it with bars, probably. Yeah. Commandos pop smoke. Combo up. Germans are in a bad way right now. Contact report. German half track has been destroyed. Finally, the KKC is up, but why he is not teching further? He has so much fuel, you really should be taking advantage of that. Lord knows the British are. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm watching... Who am I watching? I'm watching, actually, yeah, the British player, and he's only got 24 fuel yes, he's in his stockpile because he's been spending it, yeah. But, I mean, they've got a plus 8 here... A plus 18 here and a plus 10 on the left. Getting that plus 10 away from the Germans. If if the Germans still had this plus 10, they'd be equal, I think, uh, potentially. But they lost it on the left, unfortunately. Yeah, but they got guys pushing on the left too. They're taking the munitions there. And lovely little commander demo charge in the middle of the road. Where's that? You see it in the middle oh, of the yeah. road. Oh yeah. Oh, we gotta watch that. That could be deadly. Be is this a blob Especially coming right over it? Uh-oh. I think they're going to try and kill this glider first. Got one infantry up, finally up, and a panzer command is coming up too. Thank you, Jesus. That's what they needed. So hopefully we'll see some, uh, some panthers, or probably most likely panzer fours or osvens, to help counter all this random things that the allies are, and we have rangers up as well. All right, so we've got commandos. commandos and infantry versus uh, scorched earth, uh, and, and well, not blitz. Yeah, and blitz. Good work slowing the rangers there. They're gonna just eat crap here. Oh, nice. I actually remember that seeing was slow. Right there. Oh yeah, they killed him. I kept thinking they're gonna come around from the besides the bush, but they died. But they killed him. Very nice, right there. That, I believe that was the first Ranger squad, and it's dead now. <laughs> Goodbye, foreigner manpower. Oh, look at this! <laughs> he's sandbagging off the whole southern section now, I and he's got too, dragons actually. teeth. That's fun to do. I, I enjoy doing that. Tank traps and uh, sand, sandbags after. Oh, this is where the counter to that right that Ranger thing from before. The Rangers charged into an entire group of 
Germans, and now it's this whole group of Germans. Oh, bundled nade in the middle. Ki almost killed that engineer with the flamers. Killed like three rifles. Not bad, not bad. If I may ask, where the hell is the Luftwaffe? I see all these allied blobs just running around. <laughs> Come on. Give me a... Um, a a, a strafing run? Stuka. Yeah, <laughs> Stuka or something. Just dropping a huge bomb in the middle of that. That'd be nice. Yeah, but we don't get that. Because Luftwaffe sucks. After after yeah, D-Day, they didn't have any Luftwaffe. Actually, a little bit before D-Day, they still didn't have... After the Battle of Britain, they didn't have any Luftwaffe. And it just takes, takes place long after the Battle of true, Britain. So. True, true. But I can dream, can I? Yes, you can. You can be wrong, but you can dream. Uh-oh, exactly. so maybe we used to get a debt here as the guys go by in the infantry half-track? No. Good use of slowing, though. Yeah. I don't think slowing is uh, the retreat ability. Uh, I mean, popping the slowdown on retreat is overpowered. I don't think so. Well, maybe I mean, what else are you going to use the slow yeah. for? You don't often use it. Yeah. I oh, mean, they yeah, spotted seriously? the debt. There did. it goes. I think it... No, it didn't kill, quite kill the squad, I don't think. They've got vet on that one squad. they got to keep it healed up here. I don't think the retreat ability is overpowered at all. I mean, the... I think it's the only time you ever really use the thing, so screw yeah. that. Oh, no. Cromwell's gonna take out this infantry commit. Oh, no. The half-track's gotta run. Might get out of there. Oh, wow. Hits it in the side, and it just keeps spinning and running and damaged engine. Oh, they're gonna chase it. Did they're you see those guys it. fly out of it yeah. when it got hit, though? No, oh, no. Get your guys out of it. Oh, they got out of it. But they're... Here lies the fallen body of Hans von Schneiken, Gleiken, and he has black boots and, yeah, Snickerdoodle. Right hand side commandos. More commando debt packs stuff. going down. I actually encountered an interesting little tidbit about the stuff. Uh, don't aim for the squad itself. Aim in front of it or close to it because it'll do a lot more damage, uh, the splash damage and uh, the actual damage <laughs> to units. Would be a lot more beneficial if you actually don't aim the unit at the at the the squad itself. Aim in front of it or to the side of it, and you'll get a lot more casualties uh, with the stuff. It's actually an interesting little tip I found. It actually works too. See, this is interesting. This is the stuff going into disco mode before it's actually died. Yeah, 50 munitions <laughs> disco mode. There you go. Well spent. Well spent. These pyos are just watching helplessly. <laughs> you should really That's be funny. backing it up. And I love how the first thing he did before, he was trying to shoot at the glider, and if uh, he shot it, and it pinged off of the, like, balsa no wood. Way. Well, there's 600 manpower down for three commandos dead, I think. Where? Well, on the right-hand side. It's, um, the stun went down. So 600 manpower. Oh, I'm sorry. You, okay. I thought you were talking about the commandos all died. I'm like, I didn't see that happen. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right, Cromwell. Get GTFO. We've got, we've got Shrex. So this is hasn't been able to use effectively because they don't have enough fuel for anything. Here comes good. another glider. Oh, is that going to kill some of the Shrek squad? Nope. He thought it was though, and well, it actually didn't matter. He's got no anti-infantry there. He's got to run. Yep, run away. So, right now the Axes are in pretty tough place. I mean, look at this. They've got uh, no VPs. They mm -hmm. still have those right-hand fuels, but that could change at any minute because they don't have the MG guarding the house anymore. I think they retreated it. No, maybe not. Maybe it got killed. Yeah, it's just a bunch of scattered infantry all over the place. What, two storm squads, I think? Two storm squads, an MG, three Pios for uh, KKS right now, and then a few Panzer Grenadier squads and something coming out of the support command for the PE player. It's starting to look like the Battle of Berlin here. Oh, well, now look at this, though. The stormtroopers are going to clean up on the left. They got their They're triple vet... Triple vet storms and a rifleman and an engineer squad trying to take them out. Got them all. Killed all of them. That was a big win. That was a huge manpower drain. No kidding. However, running your PE grenadiers into uh, an armored car, not a great move. I mean, what they really need is some tanks here. They got nothing. It would, it would be nice, but they don't have enough fuel right now. I think you just spend it on something. Did he? He's still got nothing coming out of the Panzer Command. He hasn't built anything yet. Well, I think he's spending all his, um, on vet. Yeah, that's what he spent all his fuel on. Infantry vet. Oh, out of control. Goodbye, M8. How useful are those wheels now, buddy? How useful. German target is being destroyed. Yeah. Uh, Pioneers died on the right. 
more uh, commando um, demo charges on the right in pretty decent damn positions, you know. Somebody goes yeah, for that yeah, VP, that's, that's where they're going to be standing. Meanwhile, the left-hand side has completely fallen, though. That M8 was the only thing guarding the whole left. Mm -hmm. So now they're getting the fuel back. Now they're getting the VP back, and they could take back that plus five as well, the plus five munitions there in the center. This could be a big turnaround right here. Could be. We'll have to see how they utilize it. Getting that fuel back into their possession, as long as they hold on to it for a good five minutes, will give them a big boost. Unfortunately, it's all anti-tank infantry against anti-infantry. Nope. Here it comes, here it comes. This is the same Storm Squad to the rescue, the Triple Vet Storm Squad with the MP44s. That's what they've been needing for this whole game, to kill all this infantry. This is going to be a huge Ooh. loss in terms of manpower for the oh. player. Red and that, this Stormtrooper squad's got 30 kills already. It's already equal. Oh. Holy crap. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, but he's in trouble now. I must have got and hit by a mine. Mine just completely mine. KOs him. Oh. Oh, no, it's not going to land. Okay, good. I thought it was going to land on him, but here comes uh, commandos using the smoke. I don't know what they use the smoke for, just to get farther away. Dropping a grenade right there. Not bad, did a little damage, but they're vet three, so they took less. They're all trying to cloak away. Good, he popped med packs on those stormies. On the wrong, on the wrong yeah. storms, unfortunately. He probably could have used it a lot more. He hit him on the right one. He did. Yeah, on the MP44 squad, but it's didn't not look, gonna be. Didn't look like you know. he used him on the MP44 squad. Maybe I just. Maybe he popped them on both. It's possible. Oh boy, look at this. This is what he needed: Panzer IV infantry support tank to the rescue. Get a little bit of vet on that baby. Cromwell's up though, so I don't know how much good that's going to be able to do him. Two commandos down, insta killed. Uh oh, artillery on the left. Is that? Yep, that's a 25 pounder barrage for the commando artillery. Oh really? What's Meanwhile, up, flamers the obliterating the PG squads with single vet. Oh, get them out of there! There the you defensive go. Defensive vet, run. There you go. Yeah, these guys are just trying, so just, uh -oh. uh oh, Rangers. Yep, I just saw them. Good move getting them out of there. Or at the very least, when you're fighting against Rangers or any kind of infantry held um, AT, you probably just want to get your tank as far away as possible, because I feel like the tank's long range accuracy is going to be considerably better than the Shrek or the Bazooka. Especially the Shrek now that they changed enough, it. Rock is in trouble here in the middle road. Yeah, look at that. Ran into a whole lot of Shreks. And by whole lot, I mean two. <laughs> no armor out from the Wehrmacht player. I don't know. I don't know why the heck he built that Panzer Command. I mean, he could definitely use some Knight's Cross, but he never built it. Oh, one shot at the machine gun in the middle. Oh, boy. Got single vet now on this that must first be fake. tank. Must be fake. No, that's real. Really? Yep. That really sucks. That's the second barrage that hasn't done anything. This really could be a turning point. I think and that's is. infantry There's... now. Oh, it is? Okay. Wow, that was a big waste of the infantry, though. The infantry uh, artillery. Now, there he goes. He's finally utilizing the uh, the decoy smoke, but... There's a firefly up now. That's definitely going to KO both these Panzer IVs. Oh, yeah. And they're going to get a tank kill here. It's going to be funny. <laughs> Just killed a Cromwell. Yep, I saw it. That's cute. Oh, but this is bad. That's Very not bad. where you want to be. They're motoring out. Peace. Yeah, lucky it missed. Yeah. Peace. See ya. But they found a command tank. They did. They may not do a lot of damage, but if they can keep moving, if they can keep moving and not shoot each other. I think I if they tread breaker the uh, firefly. No, Ooh, on. that would be good. Here he comes. Yep, okay, destroyed okay, engine. Closer. There it is. Oh, okay. He's going to lose the AT half track, but that was entirely worth it. Firefly stuck well, there now I think in disco mode stop. by itself. And the Panzer IV just motors right into a Bren uh, Tommy. <laughs> and he's going to get it completely, too, I think. Maybe. Shrek's coming up from behind. Good use here of the Stormtroopers. I didn't even see him coming. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the point. <laughs> 
Oh man, the here it comes. Fours are actually killing armor here. This is kind of entertaining. Well, yeah, because uh, they've got two of them, and they've got single defensive vet on one of them, and yeah, that, that's not exactly a... okay. Panzer Strike picked up. That was good. Mid combat. This is getting dangerous, though. He's got all his units bunched up here. If there's uh oh, mistake, that's twenty five pounder artillery, and one commando shot killed four guys. Ouch! I think they were shoot and dropped two Shreks. Oh, that's bad news. I think they were shooting at the wrong tank, though. I think they should have been shooting at the Cromwell. MG and Pio were trying to fight a croc. Is he trying to kill those Shreks with the... I don't know what he's trying to do. No, that was a bad move. Back the hell off. Oh, that's infantry. Infantry artillery there. Howitzer. Off-map Howitzer. Kills one. Shoots into the other. Oh, man. Goes come back mechanic. They had it, man. They had it. They should not have left those tanks out there. They just overextend. They didn't even kill the Firefly either. Yeah. They killed so many squads. They killed an M10. They treadbreakered the Firefly. And all they had to do was drive back to base and get some healing done. They didn't even have any damaged engine or anything. And they could have been back in the game in like 10 minutes with, you know, infantry support that they had to retreat earlier. You know, Bridger, I don't even think that they pop Treadbreakers on the Firefly because Treadbreaker is supposed to immobilize a tank every time and he only got... Oh, okay, so maybe it was just a lucky hit. Yeah, because I think the AT Half-Track has a really good chance of destroying an engine if it hits from behind, so I think that's what happened. Could be. Sector artillery. Ooh, yeah, look at that. And What's slowed the them while they're in the sector. That's beautiful. That's is it going to come nice. down again? Probably not. Oh, man. Nice, right there. One more time, one more time, one more time. Nah, it's not going to hit again. Wait, wait, wait. If they're retreating. Oh. Missed. Dang, that would have been so funny. Like, well, we're almost out of the clear there, George. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. They're still in the sector. And, and so, so is... The oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Landed right in the retreating squad and the commanders. And, and they're really walking right into it. Uh-oh. This is this is funny. He's gonna lose a lot here. Oh man! And he well, dropped the Shrek. Squad with a Shrek, and the the second squad probably is gonna meet the same fate. Come on! I don't think they even know what's happening yet. They're just standing there. Come on! Come on! Come on! Hit it! They're hit just it. getting hit with the yeah. They don't even notice. Uh, he, oh, oh got out of there. That was way off. Where the hell was that German one of artillery coordinator? Probably really drunk. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. We have more artillery coming down somewhere. I don't know where. Double defensive vet. I find that uh, offensive vet is a lot more effective on the G43 squads. Artillery dropping. I guess it tried to hit the Panther on the left-hand side, but it just didn't work out. The right-hand side? Yeah, he's got that Panther over there. You see it? Yeah. What uh, what time do you have? I have 28.05. Okay. Got to make sure I catch up to you. Okay. Now, Axis on the right got by all those things in the recap on the right-hand side, which is important because they're really low on 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 uh, VPs here. But, oh, they're forced to retreat again. We are losing the strategic I don't know. I think it would have been worth it to recap that fully because there's no... I mean, maybe they didn't know, of course, but there's no uh, infantry that they have on the right-hand side that have to spend for a uh, glider. 560 for a glider in order to recap that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did they? Uh, yeah, I think they scorched earth that VP. The, oh, yeah, they did. The right side. Nice. So that's what they did. This panther is deep. Beep. Oh Not man, yep. Yeah. Firefly and M10 are gonna do massive damage. He's trying to get out of there. Probably gonna kill the M10 though. Back up, back up. Don't, don't drive your. No, not with your rear to the enemy. Oh, come on. But then the M10's backing up at it. Like, look, I can back up just as fast as you can drive forward. And I can win too. <laughs> yeah. Double vet. Double vet. Oh, main gun destroyed. It's gonna get out of there. Drive, drive, drive. Now he's actually driving forward slow. Oh, he's got a damaged engine too. He might get this last shot off in Here time. Comes, fire! Comes. Good night. That hedgerow yeah, is know. on fire. That's good use of the Scorched Earth build. You never see that. And in the middle, we have sector artillery, actually. Oh, wow. This is a Taiga. Taiga tank. Yep. 
Tiger, the sector artillery might kill this squad before they can cap the VP, and that's what he needs, because right now he's low on VPs. Tiger may just do that, and they're stopped by the Pios. Nope, not trying. The Firefly's actually getting hit by the artillery. More than anything else, unfortunately. That would have been better against the infantry. Here comes real artillery, I'd imagine. Yep, that's real. That's not commando. He's not using the commando at all. That's kind of disappointing. He really should be more cautious than that smoke artillery. He has plenty of time to get out of there. Wow, look at this squad. Just, like, chilling. Eh, smoke, artillery, whatever. Who cares? I'm just going to cap the point. Double bet. Double defensive bet. Firefly Ooh, yeah. Firefly. Charging a tiger straight on with no support. Not a great, not a great move. Double, tr double and triple defensive vet. Uh oh, what is that? Priest? Priest artillery coming in? Or is that a howitzer? That is a I think it's a howitzer. Howitzer. 105. ready to go. This is not bad. Oh no, but but this is Howie attack. This is an off map Howie attack. Alright. Uh, no, it's a triple defensive vet. Oh no, he took a dive through the air. And now it's being backed over by the tiger. Oh jeez, poor guy. And then the no artillery respect? lands on him again! <laughs> Is there no respect? I can't get no respect. I lived through enough wars to get three defensive vet and then they just kill me over and over again. I'm dead oh, already! Yes, heard by commandos. What's repaired by what? Germans uh, Scorched Earth VP. Oh, okay. It is being repaired by the <laughs> They have the same kit that the engineers have. Why don't you repair tanks then while you're at it, you bastards? <laughs> Meanwhile, Axis making a nice comeback, capturing the middle and the left. Maybe not Ooh. capturing the left. Oh, the Tiger's well, trying to chase it, it, but it's running over everything. They scorched the middle? They scorched the left VP. Oh, they scorched the left. Yeah. Look at that. That was cool. I saw the, the little flag fall down. And everything. That was a cool little animation. They scorched it at the last minute when they decided yeah, they couldn't they cap it? Did, I yep, thought they scorched it and ran. Uh -huh. I forgot it went that fast. Yep. So now the middle is the only VP that you can get. Not a bad move by the by the by those guys. Actually, the right hand side just got capped. So right hand side has been recaptured. Panther up again. Blitzkrieg ability utilized. Interesting. I think he was I think using it earlier. Probably would help a lot more. Actually, the tiger has been pretty beneficial. Your artillery hitting Where's that the coming? left hand side. I'd imagine. No, no, not quite. Nope, you're right. It's hitting the VP. Oddly enough, it's uh, the how he's shooting at the VP. I guess they're trying to kill the uh, victory point even more than Scorched Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if a victory point takes too much damage, nobody can control it. The game is over. Booby traps. Oh, booby traps killed all! Oh, look at that. Got him completely. Nice. You're an engineer squad. You should have noticed that. Because <laughs> you didn't, it's your fault, and that's why you died. Great use of the uh, sector artillery. That's really messing him up at the middle. Oh, yeah. Holding on to that sector has meant a lot of very important, deadly things. For... How are they doing on munitions in terms of the allies right the now? The allies are very low. At least uh, the British player that I'm following is only at 25. They must have been using it like... Oh, that's because they just used the artillery. I didn't even notice. Elite tanks completed. So he's got elite vet... Uh, tr triple vet infantry tanks. and triple vent tanks. Unfortunately, he hasn't really built any tanks except for the Tiger. And well, he's got the Panther now. Oh, that's right. He had the Panther. I forgot. It's just the PE player has only been getting infantry out now. Croc oh, the poor Storms. He finally built Storms to counter the... the... Oh, he's... Wait a minute. He's got a Shrek and uh, MP44s in that squad. Yeah. I was going to say, he finally builds MP44s to uh, to take out the commandos and shit, and then a crocodile's there, and they're like, damn it! Can't win! Yeah, unfortunately, the middle, even though it's sectored, well, no I guess it's still, it still does work for him, yeah. I hate how sector artillery doesn't drop unless you have LOS on the territory. That's stupid, in my opinion. Well, it's not just in the territory. You have to see whatever it's going to drop on, don't you? Yeah. Oh, but they're trying to recapture the middle. We're down to the wire on VPs. They're trying to repair Sectors the left. No, they're trying to no, capture the left. I think it is too late. Because both of them have been neutral for too long. The Axis players could not recapture. But wow, they were fighting tooth and nail to they not were. lose that game. Scorched Earth really was a good choice, actually. They got a lot of kills off those booby traps. No um, I think the major problem was they took way too long to tech. Where was the mm -hmm. martyrs? They could have used the martyrs uh, a lot earlier. 
the Panzer IVs were their big, big comeback. If they had, you know, continued to hang on to those, you know, after, like we were talking about down here, they had fought and they had lost, you know, they were outgunned by the Firefly and the Cromwell. It's time to back off. It's time to back off and heal. Instead, they went in to try and, like, finish off the Firefly. It was a really risky move and it didn't pay off at all. They gambled it. It was like an all or nothing and it was all nothing. So, uh,. Pretty much. I mean, they what they could have used, they would have kept those Panzer IVs alive. I think they could have won the game because oh, they absolutely. could have just parked both of them in the middle. And then all that infantry would have been, bew, bew, dead. And then they could have brought the Panther and the Tiger up to kill any anti-tank. So, you know, it was just a little mistake that ended up costing them the game. So you guys got to be really careful out there when you're figuring out what you're going to do with your units and when to attack and when not to. But that sector artillery definitely probably scared the crap out of the Allies towards the end. They're just like, well, maybe we're not going to be able to get it back. Ah, crap. Well, yeah, the other thing is, um, you know, sometimes you're in the heat of, a, of the moment of the game and you're like, oh, man, it's down to, like, almost no health. I can almost get it. I'm just going to throw everything I have at it. But you really got to take the time and analyze, you know, what chance does this actually have a success? And if it fails... You know, what does that mean for me if I lose this right now? You know, am I really willing to trade, you know, a Panzer IV or two Panzer IVs just to kill that one Firefly? Or, you know, have I done enough damage? Yeah. Um, The other thing that I thought was a big problem was they built that Panzer Command and then they never built anything out of it until they built a Panther, like, way far down the line. Knight's Cross would have helped them a lot against the, uh, you know, they already had Triple Vet on the Storms. So if you had Triple Vet Knights Cross, that would have been a huge helpful counter against the Commandos. And then, you know, a Panzer IV maybe instead of Triple Vet for, on the tanks I think would have been more yeah. useful. Uh, because it could have. Triple Vet is all well and good, but it's only, you know, really good if you have a lot of tanks. You know, is it really worth it to get Triple Vet on something when you don't have a whole lot? Like to get Triple Vet, spend all that fuel just to give one just tiger one tank tiger, triple vet right panther too so yeah, that's a risk but uh they took it and it, it it almost worked out for them but not quite but i i honestly think the germans put up a damn good fight the whole way through um i, I definitely oh crap phone go for it Bridger. close it up <laughs> all right we're gonna close this one out thanks for everybody for tuning in to the double double shoutcast daily replay review of Tales of Heroes. You can find the website at tales.gamefire.com. I apologize, by the way, for not being on the forums as much as uh, I used to be. I am trying my best to keep an eye on the Gamefire forums more often now, so go ahead and check those out. Drop us a line, give us your thoughts, uh, you know, etc., etc. Uh, you can just find them at the Gamefire website, gamefire.com. And uh, as always, if you feel like this show was worth your time, if you think it was worth the effort, if you think it was entertaining, go ahead and drop us a couple bucks, tales.gamefire.com. We really appreciate everybody who's donated. We've got uh, a couple people that we, um, we we should thank on, on, on the audio show gave us a hundred dropped dropped a, a you know a benjamin on us and i was just like wow i mean i was really floored that that really means a lot to us and uh we've been using uh some of the money already to get some software that will help us get the shows out on time which hopefully you'll notice last week and this week all right so thanks guys for tuning in to another tales of heroes have a great night